Hey there guys, welcome back. <coughs> welcome back to Spyro 3. You get the dragon and stuff. We are here. Uh, first world. The she so seashell over there. We gotta go fight the boss, but we're gonna do the Master Speedway first. Oh, sorry about my voice. I woke up just with a bit of a icky throat. But it should be fine. Should be fine. Now these are very different than the other speedways. First of all, you start off in a menu. There is the time event, or the race. Now the time attack, I'll show you first. That's just each challenge in order. Yeah, we got it. <clears throat> it's just like all the other speed races where you have to fly through the rings, blah, blah, blah. Except this one, it, um... You just, yeah, you just have a set amount of time like you did before. But, these don't give you time, you just have to do it in that amount of time. They give you jumps. It's really, honestly, these are not that hard. These do, I mean, they, these are great and these are really fun. But these are not as challenging as the ones in the previous games. They're very linear for the most part. And they're very easy. Gotcha. If I'd have missed that guy, I would have, <laughs> I would have not proven my point at all, would it? So yeah, you probably won't see me rage in any of these anyway. Thank God. <laughs> see, like I've only got 20 seconds left, and I'm on the last one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh huh. Bada bing. How we do? X to continue. Yeah. And you get eggs when you complete stuff. I should probably be reading that dialogue because he's not speaking English. Oh, whatever. You guys can read. <sighs> Tea is good. Yeah, and then you can just yeah, we'll race the butterflies. Okay, you're gonna race butterflies. You have to fly through. Blah 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 blah. Okay. For these races, it's much like the, um, the follow the leader challenges we did with Hunter in the last game. There are little red dots that show you the course of the map, but you have to go through all of the green rings in order to be valid. If you miss one ring, it will cancel you out of the race. Now there is a little way to cheat it, like you can just barely catch the sides of the rings and get through. But yeah, anyway. But yeah, pretty much as long as you get through things. Anyway, those blue, those blue stars, when I'm going through, they give you a speed boost, as you've seen by now. There will also be red stars eventually, and they give you rockets that you can shoot at the other player. Um, oh shit, the other people in the race, and that will stall them for a few minutes and let you to catch up to them for a few seconds at least. Anyway, you can also torch them, or no, maybe not. Well, didn't really show an animation for it, but yeah, you can torch them and they'll slow them down too. Yeah, we're in third place right now. Okay, sounds good. Boom. But yeah. And there is also a secret hunter challenge in here as well. We'll be finding it in a minute. We get the kill more you get evil sheep, I think, in this one. I don't remember. Most most of the challenges with the speedways in this game have to do with the like the space sheep or the space cows or whatever. It's kind of, it's really funny actually. Come on. Okay, last lap. We got to do this now. Come on. But it's just these two ahead of me, I can see them both, so that's good. Okay, there's the last guy. Should be able to catch up to him, no problem. If, oh, shit! Shit, that might have cost me the race. I gotta get that ring. I gotta get that star. No, I'm faster than him. Sweet! Oh, I'm, in, I'm only in second? Oh, I'm in first now. Good, good. I was like, what? <laughs> Thought I passed that motherfucker. We're good. We're golden. What would a butterfly do with an egg? <laughs> Alright, now to find Hunter, we're just gonna jump back into time attack. 
And uh, he's not that hard to find. He's actually right here. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, never, never mind. He's not right here. I was wrong. Okay, uh, uh, that was awkward. Um. Okay, I'm trying to remember where he is now. Crap, where is he? There he is, there he is, there he is. Let's glide on over there. And we're good. Alright, Hunter. How are you Whoa. doing? A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Well, then we better do Looks something like about I'll that. I have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Look out, sheep. Here I come. <laughs> Shouldn't you be eating sheep? Anyway, yeah, we get to play as Hunter. In this game. In all of these, actually. I don't think we get to do one of them as Spyro. And it's just like in the Metropolis world. You just gotta... Okay, die, finally, I guess. You just gotta shoot down all the saucers. Really. Oh, I don't have to hold that for the boost. I just gotta press it. Nice to me. There we go. I mean, it's only a short boost, but it's a boost nonetheless. I don't have to hold it. It'd be nice to know that earlier. That's cool. That was easy. Okay, didn't expect to get that many that fast. You can actually pop the dandelions. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> but none of the other racing stuff is around. Or the core stuff is around, so. Alright, where are these last two? There's one. Just going around in circles with a giant mushroom. Pop him! Come on, Hunter! Ah! Okay, he knows exactly what I'm trying to do, too, so he's just... There we go! Good god. Alright, now where's this other guy? Gotcha! Check it out! The squad leader had abducted this egg! Tater. <laughs> nice. Alright, now we can leave. <laughs> and we're gonna exit the level. Alright, we'll try again later. But sometimes he'll say stuff like, Man, I was just getting comfortable watching you do all that work, or... You know, <laughs> Sparks is awesome. He's really awesome. I like that they gave him personality in this game. Not like the personality they gave him in like Spyro New Beginning or anything. But you know, then again, he actually has a voice in that one. It's a little different. Whee! Alright. Onwards. To the boss. Alright, let's do it. Here! Midday Gardens. Yeah, the, the names of this world are always there all time of day. Bianca strikes back. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay, let's see what we got here. Bianca is a sweetheart. This ought to do it. The sorcerer still does not treat her very well. Oh no! Mr. Bird! Nanan! <laughs> 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 he does like a little pose, he's like, Jazz hands! <laughs> it's really 
really funny. I don't know if I get to see it. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Exactly. Now, in every world, um, the animal friend that you save will help you out in the boss fight. And just like before, this guy won't move until you do, so you're good, but whatever. Oop. Oh, whoop. You just gotta wait till he stops moving and then ram him, because he's gonna run after you. And I'm gonna- shit! Shut up! Where are you going to? Your goal is to knock him into the lava, right? Like that. And Sheila will go over and stomp him. And you want to get away from him pretty quick, because he's gonna come- yeah, rolling after you like that. So you just run away. Just run in a circle, really. Yeah, if you both hit each other at the same time, you just both get knocked back. It's not really- Oh, shite! Oh, yeah, I still got him! Nice! <laughs> nice! Yeah, eventually he'll start doing the, the Ring of Fire, which you- Yeah, you can't even get through it if you jump on- jump, like I just did. So, you just have to wait till it's down. And eventually Sheila will give you sheep, like like the previous boss fights. They're not just gonna leave you abandoned, they will give you sheep and other stuff that you need. So, don't worry about that too much. Ah, there I go! I just- I couldn't get the controls to turn the way I wanted to. I'm really, really bad with these weird mechanics lately. Although in that time, it can give you time to turn and get the angle you want right on this, I guess. I think he'll start shooting fireballs at me too. I don't quite remember though. Later, nerd! Oh, he's not done yet. There we go. <coughs> Whoa, like that. Totally not cool, dude. Thankfully, you can still hit him while he does that, which is awesome. Boop! Oh, <laughs> I just ran into Sheila. She's like, no big deal, man. Why is there no sheep, Sheila? I need my sheep. Whoa, oh, shite. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit me, actually. Okay, this might be the last hit. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's it. Well, let me move, so. No. Grayson! Nice! Like, Dick Gase? Grayson? I gotta admit, I always said Dick Gason because that fucking achievement hunter worms video with Michael named one of his worms that got down. I'm just like, that's so bad. Anyway, on to Midday Garden Home, and we're only at 13 and a half minutes, so I can probably go and explore this world. Which will be awesome. Yeah! Actually, what I might do instead of that, I'm gonna pick up these gems. Instead of going out and exploring the wonderful, awesome world that's out there, I might leave that for the next video and go back and do something that we can now do because we read, we um, achieve, we, we, we read the boss. Something that'll give us, you know, extra bonus powers and stuff. <clears throat> Um, okay, first I need to go get Spark some life, so I'm just gonna get over here. Cheap! Pick up that guy. Alright, we're good to go. I'm gonna fly back on over here. Now, remember earlier, the sign the Spark's on it? We can do this now. I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Pretty much every time you beat a world, you can go back to the previous world and do a level for sparks there. Like, there's one in every world, just four worlds. And you get you get eggs from it, of course, and you get gems, and... Hello, sparks! Maybe before you take on the nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot these targets. 
Yeah, man. She didn't tell me to show you if I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm lazy. Anyway, yeah, you'll get you get superpowers for sparks as well. You get little bonus powers for them, which is pretty cool. You can also move quickly by charging, like Spyro. To charge, as I was just doing, if you notice. E. This guy you gotta catch. Ugh, back here. Gotcha. Actually, I might be better with the D-pad on this one. Yeah, probably be better. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable ah, no. fly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down or strafe, you know. That's what I called it before. Yeah, just hold down L and R to strafe. Basically. Just uh, get get something we want, and then we can start. Oh. Bada bing! On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat a butterfly and then press X button to use a power up. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The green guy here, he uh, it's it's yeah, a wave thing. Whoop! Ah oh, shit! Don't hit me! I don't want you to hit me. Yeah, and the counter over the top. That's how many shots I have for that specific one. There's other ones that are like rockets or whatever. Might as well pick it up. Oh. <laughs> So Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose the help option from the pause menu. All right. Yeah, now we're good to go. This is level. There will be gems around like normal. We can go pick those up. Oop. There we go. This, these are actually really cool levels, and I'm I really like that they put them in this game. Because they're really creative, and it's just fun to go around and play Sparks in the in the 2D. Oh, damn it! I need the butterfly for hit. Ah, in the, in the 2D atmosphere, which is really cool. I mean, it's still 3D, yeah, but the, like the overhead atmosphere. That was just a little warp base or warp base, but just a spawning point. Anyway, for most of the levels, there'd be a big room like this, often with, yeah, a lot of enemies in it, and a key, and a whole bunch of doors. You know, it's the red key, oh, it's shit, that was the blue door, obviously. Oh, damn you. Trickle crack cloth. Got that butterfly. But they're gonna keep spawning, so kill them if you have to, but you don't bother clearing them all, because there's no point. They're all just gonna keep spawning. Okay, red door. Okay, I'm in a bad spot. Behind the warps and or the spawns and there we go. Awesome. I'll take that. This is my favorite power up so far. Well, maybe the rocket one too. I should really go pick up the red one, the red butterfly out there, and show you what that does. So maybe I'll just burn up my power up and go do that. That's not cool. Uh, I mean, green, green key. Uh, yellow door will do me no good. Ah, damn it. Or the, the, the purple butterfly. Ah, for fuck's sake! Yeah, this guy's the rocket one. Oh, Pretty awesome. And they will one hit some uh, little houses too, but that one, of course, is untargetable right now. So that's pretty much irrelevant. Ugh. Purple butterfly, that was an entirely different one. Oh, uh, yeah, let's, you know, let's pick it up. Oh, yeah, that's a shield. Nice. Get out of my way, scrubs. Uh, the yellow guy still? Yeah. Okay, my yellow key. Yellow key. Up here. Oh, shit. Oh, this is gonna be bad for sparks. Uh. Okay, and then get a switch to. Okay, now we got a different power-up, which is Flamethrower, basically. And it bounces off enemies and does a lot- I didn't need to pick that up, but whatever. Uh, does a lot of cool stuff. Butterflies don't respawn in this, by the way. So you nearly need to use to eat them smartly, like, when you need them, not just because they're there. It's not like in the overworld and the, the health just comes back all the time. It's not like that at all. 
<laughs> Where's the thing to shield the gent? Oh, it is! Good. Okay, after a certain point, like in this one specifically, it's just that it will de-shield after a certain point in the level. In, in other ones, you'll have to get a switch to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, hey! But yeah. Anyway, big kill it and now we're safe. There we go. The Boom! I love that. Everyone just explodes. The last one for this that we do, like the, uh, the one in the last world, the midnight whatever home, <laughs> it's really cool, like the final boss is like a gladiator arena style thing. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, I ate the butterfly again. Damn it. Oh, whatever. Oh, shit! I wasn't striping. Oh, I got the spawner. Good, 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 good. All right. All right. This is the boss, I think. There we are. Now this guy, basically, you want to just strafe up and down. He's gonna sh and that's the, just the best way, because he's shooting this fireball at you. And that's just the best way to dodge it. Oh, I took... I mean, the rockets, they're homing, but you can get them with your... Oh. Okay. Moving. This one's gonna be a lot harder to hit, only... There we go. Only when you're going back and forth. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go pick up the rest of the gems. And the reason I want to- especially I wanted to get a Sparks back up to full life before going in here. Whatever life you have Sparks at, when you start the game, that's the life that you're gonna have in here. Or like when you when you start it, that's the life you're gonna have. I'm missing gems, aren't I? God damn it! All right, take a quick peek at Rooney. Hold on. But yeah, it's if if he was since I had him at green when I came in here, or when I started when I came out of the speedway. He or out of the fucking the world or the boss or wherever the frick I was, I don't remember anymore. He would have been green. When um, I came in here, and I would have essentially been bugged. Now, oh, there we are. Now, this level is not really that bad, so I would have survived, and they give you tons of health. But I would definitely always recommend bring them in at full life all the time, because they're not always going to be so easy. And there are some enemies in here that are really, really tricky and annoying. So, near. The adventure continues. Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Yeah. This specific one, yeah, it's not a big, big power-up, but it's just a bigger pickup radius for gems, which is awesome. I uh, can't remember what the next one is, though. I can't remember if it's the third one or the fourth one, it's Gem Radar, I think it's the third one. But I don't know. One of them is an extra hit point too, which is pretty cool. But I don't I don't remember what they all are right now. Anyway, we'll go back to Midday Gardens. And um yeah. Have some good times there. Alright. In the next <clears throat> in the next video we will explore midday gardens. The pillars make that like that structure looks like it has ears. Bunnies. I see the bunnies. Oh whatever. Anyway, next time on Spider the Dragon we will have a good time. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.